chapter 6 quickly Ephesians chapter 6 we look at it from verse 10 because of emphasis and I'm going to ask that they put it on so we can read together Ephesians chapter 6 and I like to take it from verse 10 I like to open mine have you found Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 awesome okay and I read finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the old armor of God that you may be able to withstand against the wives of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places verse 13 where we are taking the emphasis from can we read it together one to go wherefore take unto you the whole armor of god that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all stand father i'm asking again that you do a new thing do a new thing lord visit us afresh let your word come expressly heal the sick deliver the bound do what only you can do i give you praise in jesus name we have prayed so i'm going to be looking at the message i thought deprogramming evil day what did i say please sit down briefly sit down briefly i need you to listen so we can pray i told us last time and that's why i like the topic deprogramming evil day so what is evil day an evil day is a day that has been programmed to work against you an evil day is a day that will not give you warning before it happens an evil day is a day that you just see yourself the thing that used to work suddenly stop working an evil day is a day that your beloved one becomes your enemy for no just reason an evil day is a day that conspirators decide to perfect their plans concerning you that's what we call evil day an evil day is a day that you do the normal investment thinking of getting profit all you are getting is debit and you are wondering what is why am i receiving debit why not credit is because that day has been programmed against you what is evil day an evil day is a day that love turns to hate i love you turn to i hate you and you look at it what is responsible you can't say this is the reason and from that day before you know it leads to divorce before you know you are on your way to the court you are wondering what is bringing me to court that day started one day and that was the day they call evil day oh my god i don't know who i come to pray for today that any evil day program against you to stop your laughter as you shout amen we delete it amen. i didn't hear you i said we delete it amen. i did not hear you there i said we delete it amen. somebody shout a powerful amen, amen. Please sit down. most people unknowingly have become an, a, a victim of evil day and one good thing about evil day because if you look at this thing is that evil day there is power against evil day if not for god many of us would have become a victim of evil day and you know one thing about evil day it leaves what i call permanent disability evil day leaves what i call permanent uh i don't want to use the word disability again it leaves a mark i call sorrow all the days anytime you remember your laughter switches to sorrow you just wonder if not that day there's somebody listening to me now anywhere they are programming evil day against you as you will shout amen we nullify it i say we nullify it i say we nullify it i say we nullify it join me to shout i nullify it I didn't hear you there shout i nullify it say i put a stop to it let that amen be louder 
please sit down why do i say evil day evil day sometimes may be programmed ahead of you without knowing okay excuse me in first kings 21 21 you will see a man called ahab ahab there ahab humbled himself first kings 21 21 watch it now behold because he humbled himself he was the one that did it he now humbled himself and god by mercy looked at him he said behold i will bring upon thee and take away thy posterity watch it i will cut off from ahab him that pissed against the wall are you sure you're hearing me now he that is shut up if you read further he said i will not bring it in your day but in your son's days please put it on i will not bring it in your day everybody read it with me verse 21 one to go verse 29 one to go see that i have humbled himself before me because he humbled himself before me i will not bring this evil in his day but in his son's days will i bring the evil upon his house a father did something the programming of evil day was programmed for his children so the thing now is that any male child in that family will suddenly wake up one day and see things working against him he's intelligent but he's not showing he's powerful but he's not showing he's beautiful but there's no duty i pray for somebody today any evil day program against you as you shout amen we nullify it oh my god i say we nullify it i say i nullify it i say i nullify it Please sit, 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 sit. He said, See thou how Ahab humbled himself. Although he did it, although he is guilty, he's supposed to take this punishment. But because he has humbled himself in prayer and fasting, I will not bring this evil in his days, but in his son's days. Now, watch it now. Now, that, that child is not yet born, or maybe he's born, he's just a little boy. Or a little baby then the child begins to grow up and the child becomes an adult and the child begins to plait his or her hair put earring am i communicating he wants to behave like michael jackson come on talk to me now he wants to behave like michael jackson there's nothing wrong but you know what he, you forgot that what is working for michael jackson is not working for you you have a different father what has your father done he has postponed he has programmed evil day for you a programmed evil day so you want to behave like me but i don't have evil day ahead of me but your own your father programmed it and yet you want to misbehave like somebody else there's somebody i'm praying for right now any evil day program as a generational curse against you that has been working against you anywhere you go as you shout amen we nullify it oh my god i said we nullify it i say i 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 nullify it are you with me please sit down briefly see thou how ahab humbled himself i will not bring this evil in his days but in his son's days in his daughter's days why is it that some good people bad thing happen to them they are good but they take delivery of evil they are not wicked they are nice but nicely evil day don't write letter evil day will not warn you you only wake up one morning only to discover that that day brought a turning point in your life. But listen to me. When we talk about evil day, there's also the day of favor. Maybe we will take it as a topic. There's also a day that you wake up, you realize your level changed forever. Why? Because you step into your day of favor. There's somebody I want to pray for here today. In place of evil day, may you step into favor. May you step into your day of favor. A day that God 
will turn your destiny around. Please let that amen be louder than your neighbor. Jesus, I, I want you to sit down briefly. Are you still in church? I can feel you. Are you still in church? So, I feel you now. Are you still in church? The programming evil day. The programming evil day. Now, what am I talking about? Ahab and his wife Jezebel. They did evil. The man was a king. While the wife was the queen. But everything they did was evil. They were known for evil in Israel. Then, by the time the, the, the cup was full, allow me to use that word, God is now saying, I will cut off from Ahab, him that pissed against the wall. I will cut off, I will punish anyone who pissed against the wall. That means it is male he was talking about. It's male who pissed against the wall, not female. Now, let me ask you, why is it that in some family, all the male, they are suffering, sisters are enjoying? Why is it that in some family, all the ladies are suffering, the men are enjoying? Because why? There is something against a particular gender of that family. Are we cut off from Israel, he that pissed against the wall. Why? Because of what Ahab have done. And when Ahab heard it, Ahab went into prayer. He went into fasting. He fasted. He prayed. He was not praying for his sons. He was praying for himself. The way he prayed for himself, and the Lord now said, See thou, O Ahab, humble himself, because he has humbled himself, I will not bring this evil in his days, but in his son's days. And those sons right now refuse to be in church. They refuse to be born again. In fact, they are in church, but they are out of church. They, they only visit church. They don't stay in church. Church irritates them because that is where, they, you remember, the power that transferred that evil day was still in prayer. Am I right? So if the son will stay in prayer, if the thing can be nullified in his father's life, it can also be nullified in his life but the devil will not make such man to be in church he will not be in church he will not be in church give the hand be he look as if they are doing you favor they throw into church when they like and they just think that well abroad is above no abroad is not above the thing is not in abroad hear me if there is a power pursuing you in nigeria and you travel to London or to America. You know what will happen? The witches will exchange your case file. They will exchange it on bilateral relationship. They will exchange it with the one there. And say, look at this man. This is where we stopped here. Please help us handle it there. Do you have any passenger here? That is the reason why someone can be in Europe and be suffering. That's why you can see someone in Europe. Nothing is working. All those things are going on. I pray for somebody here today. Any attack against your home. Anywhere they are following you up. That they followed you to where you are. As you are shouting amen, we cancel it. Oh Jesus, I say we cancel it. Oh Jesus, I say we cancel it. Oh Jesus, I say we cancel it. My God, I say we cancel it. I say we cancel it. I cancel that attack. I cancel that setback. You will not be a victim. You will be a victor. Receive grace to go forward. Let that amen be better. Jesus. I think we're going to spend time to pray. Let's spend time to pray. Because if prayer could transfer and nullify that evil day in the life of Ahab, a wicked man and transfer to his son's days then me and you can decide to see our own or we will be transferred it will be eradicated am I communicating here? oh my god, are you sure you're hearing me now? so we have realized an evil day could be a day that was do I, do I borrow this word? an evil day could be a day that was bluetoothed into your destiny. They bluetooth it into your future. They send it into your future. 
and you are just living your life as if nothing by the time you get there struggle starts others are succeeding but you are struggling people are your mate your colleagues are even surprised what is wrong with you you can't even say this what is wrong with you you know why because it was programmed for you and you entered if you still help me I shout i hear you i didn't hear you i shout i hear you i want to ask you again why is it that you see some nice people marriage is not working they are nice nice lady well behaved well cultured marriage is not working nice man well behaved well cultured not marriage is not working now watch it now then you now see contrary another man irresponsible and you see an irresponsible woman for 37 years they've been married together they may be fighting but they are still together i don't know if i'm preaching to someone now they may be quarreling but they are still together but you see another nice looking hope. You know why? Two different things are happening to them. Two different things. Two different destiny. Are you, am I preaching to someone here? Am I preaching to someone here? I know a man of God that marriage has failed three times. And those three times, it's not his, fail, it's not his fault. Those three times, it's never his fault. It's not because he, 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 he committed adultery or he did anything wrong. No, it's just that the thing will always go wrong. Something will happen for something to happen. The lady just walk away. Another one will walk in. I know another man of God that uh, I, think, I think four women died in his life. Four, he married four times. Four times women died. And he said his father, it happened to him eight times. His father married eight times. So when he told me that, I beg and make him never marry again. I told him, let's, commit, let's, let's do some deliverance for you before you kill another person's daughter. I want to pray for someone. It, please understand me. He's not the one who kills them. He's not the one. It's just that there is something following him. And so, some of these ladies, when they enter and marry such a man, you will see them carrying cutters on their There's nothing wrong in cutters, please. Carry, they, they mind their... Uh, listen to me. I'm not against your makeup. You can make up and not go up. The best makeup is in Christ. Add Christ to your makeup, then you will avoid crisis. I'm not against it. So, marry such a man. <laughs> you know what you do? I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. What happened to other women will not happen to me. My case is different. Am I communicating here? So nobody should be begging you to come to church. Lift up your hand as we pray. Everybody, wherever you are hearing me, shout it, say, Father. Say, any appointment with evil day, I nullify you. Say, I can hear you. Say, any appointment with evil day, I nullify you. Any appointment with that day, call evil day. As I clap my heart, be nullified in my life and family. Open your mouth and pray. Shaba katayaba, ikato baru katoya, izagada barende, ekato rakusate. Lord, I nullify. Rikakabo, ekato, ikakaba, asotore, ekaruka, sabaro toriba, ipakotole, elakusatori, ilaba satalaba. Yes, 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 yes. Declare it, decree it. Declare it and decree it. It's your time. It's your hour. It's your season. Yes, 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 yes. Make it your prayer. I nullify evil day.
in Jesus mighty name we have prayed you know one thing about God our God is an expert of turning evil day to day of favor it may look painful but later it will be gainful I will explain Joseph his brothers hated him and one day the father said I believe Genesis 37 he said take this food to your brothers and when the brothers saw him far what was his sin dream they said here comes the dreamer you know one thing everybody dream it's just that not everybody is dreaming right here comes the dreamer let's kill him and see what shall become of his dream that was satanic conspiracy they actually heard him they threw him in the pits Reuben said let's throw him in the pits they did what was the turning point they suddenly changed their mind and they said to themselves don't let's kill him let's sell him to Ishmaelites so that those ones can help us kill him but they didn't know that those ones will help them take him to the place where he will reign there's, you know, there's something about God you don't understand. There are times that evil day becomes day of promotion. Can I tell you, from that pit, it could take time. But Joseph, from pit, he went through the four piece of life. From the pit, he entered Pontifex house. From Pontifex house, he entered prison. From prison, he entered palace. I pray for someone here. Your day of suffering ends today. Amen. Lift up your say, Father. Any evil day program for me and my children. I turn it around to our season of favor. Open your mouth and make it your prayer. I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. I decree today that that evil day that has been programmed for me shall become my day of favor. Shall become my season of promotion. In the name of Jesus, it shall become my season of lifting. Somebody make it your prayer. Pray it anyhow. Shalalalala. 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 Rika Kobase. Yes, Lord. mighty name we have prayed in Exodus 14 verse 3 Pharaoh behind the Israelites program evil day ahead of them in Exodus 14 verse 3 he said for Pharaoh we say of the children of Israel they are entangled in the land and the wilderness has shut them in he set it behind them and he caught up with them he programmed it that they will not make it out of next level. He programmed it that when they get to the wilderness, they will never enter promised land. Ladies and gentlemen, that whole nation suffered that evil day 
That day the man pronounced it, he caught up with them. Except Joshua and Caleb. They were the only one who entered the promised land. All other ones died because a power spoke behind them. There's someone listening to me now. Whoever is not happy that you are going forward. Whoever is not happy that you are where you are. Maybe you have traveled abroad. And somebody is eyeing you. Behind you. I come to pray as I lift up my hand. That whatever they wish you, it will happen to them. I say it shall happen to them. I say it shall happen to them. I say it will be their portion. Get ready for next level. Get ready for next level. Get ready to soar. Is your season to soar? Somebody shout, I will soar. You know, one, one mistake we make shh, is to think I don't reach there. Shabi, I don't come out. I am married already. Shabi, I'm now in America. Ah, hey, 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 this is no, no. I'm talking to you here. I told you a story of this is life. A young man was working with his senior sister in a restaurant, helping her to wash dishes. And in between, he met Destiny Helper, who looked at him as a promising young man. And he says, boy, I want to help you to America. And this young man said, that would be good. One thing led to one thing. This young man found himself in America, in New York. There over the years, now trying to process his green card, but it has not yet come. Then the sister in Nigeria suddenly got angry. She said, with all the people I have been employing after my brother left, my junior brother left, none of them know how to wash dish. None of them. So she will always hire and fire. Hire and fire. Then she said to herself, I think I have to bring my brother back. He's the only one who can wash dishes for me. Ladies, I'm telling you life story. She went to do the usual satanic concussion and all manipulation. And they now asked the woman, which kind of food does he eat he like? This is life. It's an evil. The, la the, the lady said, I know any time I cook ofu or lugbo. Say the thing they get as it they do them. So what did they do? They used the ofu or lugbo to prepare the thing. They sent it into the air. This young man woke up one day. He began to smell ofu or lugbo in his room. And he told his friends, he said, he said, I smell ofu or lugbo. And I want to go to Nigeria and go and eat it. And the friend said to him, there's African restaurants. Why not buy it here? He said, no. It's only my sister that knows how to cook it well. The one they are cooking here is fake. So these friends, since they were not real Christians, assuming they were, maybe they would have been conducting deliverance and drag him to the pastor, to their pastor. But it was not so. They tried to convince him. This woman, this guy, got his TC. Went to embassy, got this traveling document. And he said, I'll be back. I'll be back. He bought a ticket. They gave him a ticket. And ladies and gentlemen, he, now, he landed in Muritala, Mohammed Airport. As he landed from the plane, when the heat slapped him on the face, he asked somebody, he said, where am I? They say, welcome to Lagos. You see, how did I get here? I'm talking to you, listening to me now. Now, listen again. I want you to know. I, I will give you part two of this, but listen. Now, if this young man had been in Christ, he would have been able to stop the handwriting. Are you all listening to me? Am I preaching to you? After all, me as a pastor, it was done. Someone prepared it for me those days. I wanted to eat it. I was not married. A lady was brought it. Daddy, I bush meat for you. I know you say you like bush meat. And I was fasting, 41 days prayer and fasting. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I, I was looking at the time that time should quickly cross six o'clock. Because the, 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 the aroma had filled my office when she brought it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
as she left i quickly rushed my prayer i opened the foil paper to start the big bush meat grass water i wanted to start devouring it and i heard the lord say don't touch it don't touch it i look i don't see anybody for room don't touch it of course you must know to hear from god that's one asset everybody must pray for in hearing god i knew it was god so instantly i wrapped it up called my secretary then one brother tayo i said tayo throw this dustbin away Tayo didn't know what was inside the bottom of the dustbin so he threw it away about three days later this sister left the church no quarrel nothing you know why the thing not work it didn't work can i tell you this here mama can bear me witness if i'm lying god sees me mama can bear me with me i don't know whether 10 15 years later in between she came miserably looking to fall on her knees before me and brought one misery looking packet shirt she bought in osho the market because they are told her that nobody can pray for you that man of god nine gofi pray for you go and meet him and she came now she the smell worker the smell worker because of bad thing when they do she went on her knees i was crying mom i told mama say remember that year i told you say this is not the lady i said that's her i took the package shirt and i gave it to somebody i prayed for her for her to go what am i saying wickedness you want to catch waiting on your own you don't want to work for your thing one catcher ole ojikokoro lift up all your hand if i don't deprive mama now we are deprived mama of it now lift up your hand where you are everybody shout he say my father, my father. say again say my father. my father any satanic projection, any satanic projection. abstract projection, abstract projection. Incantation. incantation or divination or release yes. against me yes. from my past yes. release yes. against me yes. from my home yes. from my background from my friends from my associates in the name of jesus go around now go back to sender open your mouth and make it your prayer mighty name we have prayed now let me tell you this here it is the blessings of the lord that make it rich and have no sorrow i can boast i can preach because i know i'm standing on the right soil my hand not day you know why i talk boldly i look at satan and say shut up because your property not there in my life jesus said it the other day he said the prince of this world comment he has nothing in me if he gets a property in your life he will take and finish you a woman woke up one day hear me in case you don't work out so that you know how you go repent can i preach she woke up one day married to a man with four children four children home everything was going well the man rose up in the sitting room. He looked at the wife and said, Who are you? The lady was laughing. I said, Who are you? What are you doing here? The lady thought the was my don't crazy. She said, I'm not crazy. What are you doing here? When she now saw that the guy meant it, he said, Ah, please don't stop this joke. I'm your wife. Wife? When did I marry you? What? You're my wife. Uh, I'm your wife. You're my husband. We've been married for years. He said, when did I marry you? Ah, okay, in case you don't know. These are the evidence. Junior! Oh, Zakpawa! Oh, Giso!
Osakolo. Osazua. He called all of them. This is life, their life, I'm telling you. He gathered all of them. And he said, these are your four kids. The man said, me, with you, produce these children. Wherever you brought them from. Wherever you put, entered my house. The same way, that's the entrance. This, they thought this man was joking. He entered and came out with machetes. Pursued all of them to the streets. This is life I'm telling you. How do I know? Because one of my son in the ministry, he has a very big church somewhere in Surulere, was telling me, he said to me, he said, Sir, this woman came to my office for prayer. And I wanted to be praying ignorantly. Suddenly, the Holy Ghost says, Ask her what she has done. He said, Madam, the only way I can pray for you, what have you done? This marriage was not done legally. You manipulated this man. She broke down, started crying. And said, yes, she did it long time ago. The man said, don't expire. As I'm talking, she's on the street with four children. I'm saying this so that you, maybe you heard that they put something, so bring someone from America. Then you go do your own in the evening. They go walk against you. Lift up your hand, let's pray. Shabarabaraba. Lift up your hand, shout it, say, Father. Your blessing make it rich and add no sorrow in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, any manipulation over my life and destiny, whatever has removed my senses, whatever is not making me to function right, in the name of Jesus, today turn around, expire by the blood of Jesus shout expire by the blood of Jesus let me hear you shout a better amen some years ago the church I was they bought a warehouse and when they bought this warehouse we were I was among those who led the intercessory team to go and pray before the church could take over. I led my team there. We started praying. And the Lord led me that we should go and pray in the director's office. So we opened the office and entered. What did we see? We saw in the, in the cupboard or what do you call it? In the, behind the shelf or so, there was a huge idol. Big idol like that. With names of different people stamped on the idol. Apparently, everyone walking there, their name was stamped on that idol. Now, I want to ask you, how can you make progress walking in such a place? When they pay you money, they will remove the spirit of the money. And you just realize you are walking, nothing is walking. Even to go to church, you can't go to church. You are struggling to go to church because why? They have tied you to an idol. I come to pray for someone. Anywhere they have tied you. Knowingly or unknowingly. As you shout amen, we break the yoke. Oh my God. I say we break the yoke. I say I 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 break the yoke. You will not be a victim. Your children will not be a victim. Ah, your children will not be a victim. What happened to you before we don't happen to your children? you before that the enemy is trying to bring the second time my bible says affliction shall not arise the second time so i lift up my hand as you shout amen we send it back to sender 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 we return it back to sender day they have programmed for you an evil day I told you last time very funny but it's true an evil day is the day you cross the gutter you normally cross only to fall and lose five teeth and there's no way you will lose five teeth you will not remember all the days of your life 
because adult teeth don't grow again. That was an evil day that altered your beauty. I lift up my hand here. Shabara Kusante, Elema Kusandoria, Ilagadapa Kuri Bakase, Intu Bakase Kerima. Lift up your hand. Any evil day program to terminate your life. Today, I stand on Psalm 119 verse 17. He said, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. So as I stand on this altar, every covenant with untimely death is hereby broken. Oh my God, I say it's here by broken. I say it's here by broken. I say it's here by broken. I say go forward. I say go forward. I say go forward. I say go forward. An evil day. It's a day. The enemy turn your promotion to problem. The Israelites crossed the Red Sea. Exodus chapter 14 verse 3. The Bible says, And Moses sang a song. He began to praise God. When you read it further down, Marian also began to praise God. Then we enter chapter 15 verse 23. The Bible says, And they got to Mara, And the water was bitter. Who spoiled your water? Who turned your promotion to problem? Makuta Yaba. He says, and when they came to Mara, they could not drink of the waters with S added of Mara, for they were bitter. They were bitter. Who spoiled that water? Who, who polluted your next level? Who went ahead of you to spoil your name before you arrive? Shabora Kataya. Ilagada. Everybody lift up your hand and say, Father. Oh my God, say, Father. Anywhere, 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 they have gone ahead of me to terminate my promotion. Anywhere they have gone ahead of me to turn my laughter to sorrow. I turn it around. I turn it around to my favor, to promotion, to multiple laughter for me and my household. For me and my household affliction shall not arise the second time today by the power in the blood of jesus true communion i nullify evil appointment shout a living lift your two hands up and just give god thanks begin to thank him begin to thank him thank him join me to appreciate this god Giving thanks. Maraba said terrible. Lord, we bless your name. We honor you. We give you praise. Thank you for victory. Thank you because it's getting better. Wherever you are, lift those hands up and thank him. Thank him for your life. Thank him for your home. Thank him for your children. Thank him for your life. It's getting better. That devil is a liar. You are not a victim, you are a victor. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Baba. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
stretch your hands here if you are watching us online from abroad also stretch your hands i pray right now that any evil appointment fixed for you is being nullified in psalm 2 he put it this way he said why do they hear this range and the people imagine a vain thing and the kings of the earth set themselves and gather themselves against the lord and he said he that seated on high shall laugh i lift up my hand and i pray for you your laughter will not be eradicated from today receive grace for laughter we transfer laughter to your situation we transfer laughter to your mouth we transfer laughter to your documents we transfer laughter to you we transfer laughter to you 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 will not be a victim you will be a victor affliction will not arise a second time my god will help you my god will fight for you he will give you victory you will not see shame from glory to glory go and take over i say take over have dominion Whoever went behind you they went behind you to try to rubbish you but i want to announce today their works concerning you has just been nullified in place of their desire for you it shall be promotion if you are sick receive your healing receive grace to go forward your laughter will not turn to sorrow in the name of Jesus from today it shall be from labor to favor I bless you in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Ghost let everybody shout an amen like thunder jump those hands together you may be seated God bless you God bless you